Hi, this is David Vallade with AltaVista Technology. If you are a staffing company, you likely have already heard of Sage Intact, but if not, I wanted to highlight some of the key attributes of Sage Intact that are just stellar and help in particular some of the challenges that face the staffing industry. So I have a few things I can talk about here. Um, first off, I have an environment here and I have highlighted here the uh, projects area. So we have a lot of functionality within Sage Intact. We have these little easy navigation panes that we can use within the system, but don't let that fool you. We have a whole lot of functionality here. So I'll tick off some of the boxes. First off, if you have people who are entering hours and those are people who are you're placing with your different clients, uh, I can take a look at that. Under projects, I have these timesheets here. So I can take a look at the staff timesheets I have. And I can pick up uh, Nikki Tesla here just to pick one. And just to show at a glance what this can look like. Here I see Nikki Tesla. She's put her time to a few different projects and tasks and has uh, marked time as billable. I can have hours. People can have time entered for any periods we want. This is an especially long one. You can have this go weekly though. This one's going a little long. And we can even have notes within any of these hours to have descriptions that may or may not show up on an invoice. So the whole idea of having timesheets built in is super powerful. Another great part of the system is we have the projects themselves. So let me pick one at a glance here and we can show some of the really interesting features there. Oh, what's a good one? Let's pick this uh, capital risk management. It looks like fun. At a glance, I can see I have a lot of tabs here. I'll jump around to call out some of my favorite things. And in particular, I'm, I'm focusing on things that a staffing company would be interested in. How about this? Here I have a project that I make. If I go to this project summary, I can see at a glance you know, job by job, project by project, I can see financial summary. So I can see all my costs and profit and net income at a glance, real time right now. I can see how that stacks up versus budget if I have such a thing. So that's awful power powerful to see as well. I can see all the billable hours and if any, any expenses here. Having that information at a click of a button, job by job is perfect. Like anyone would want this, this is amazing. Let's go next level though. Okay, so we have those whole idea of like the costs on a thing. Well, did you know you could do this? If I go over to the project side, you have this option if you want to do something called a transaction rule. So you can set up uh, one or more of these if you choose. And what this does is it lets you have the system calculate additional costs and then add it to this project and customer. So the thinking here, imagine if you would, like um, you might have some benefits or certain kinds of costs that you have that you incur for an employee. And those costs may be, uh, in the case, in this example, indirect costs, we'll call it. But some of those costs, they might you want to allocate those to the individual jobs, but do so in an easy way. So I'll take a, I'll zoom in on this one example just to have something on screen to see. This is a rule. You might disagree with the numbers here. This is just an example. But here we say, like, let's take the hours, for example, like so. And then let's multiply it by 30%. And that 30% is what we're going to assume is burden. And then we have a few more calcs too. Like maybe we take another 20% for overhead and another 10% for GNA using rough numbers here. And these all get uh, put to the system. And if I click the little pencil here, I can see it's going to debit a certain account and credit another account. And I could override any of these other departments, but by leaving those blank, the system will just use whatever it would have anyway uh, related to that project. So what that means, if you think about that, that means I got a fully loaded cost. I can have an employee's hourly rate that I'm paying them. And then I could have all those other indirect costs or other costs that we have associated with that person and tell the system to make an entry to whatever accounts I choose. And in doing that, like I can actually see a fully loaded number. So back to that other example I had, when I was showing a second ago over on the project summary, all of these cool uh, costs and all these calculations and even net income, that's a real number because I'm putting in all those other costs that are hard to track, at least a good approximation of them. That fits into something else, actually. Uh, we use dimensions. We have dimensions uh, everywhere. So when you see a dimension, you should think like, can I find the profitability by that dimension? So profitability by customer. 
Profitability by project slash job. Profitability by employee. Ooh, is that interesting in the staffing world? Any of these dimensions, there's even user-defined dimensions that are available if we need those. So we can very easily see profitability by any of those, any of those techniques. And one thing I didn't mention here, let me show this. Uh, if I'm going to do any kind of project work, like if I want to do my billing to actually bill for all the services and work that's been performed, could it be any easier than clicking one button? I can come in here and say, I want to post, in this case, all my time and materials. And I could just say, generate invoices. And it's just that easy. And finally, no demo of mine would be complete without a little glance of a dashboard. And this is just a easy one. Remember, dashboards are very easy. They're very configurable. I can backdate them like I did in this example or make them real time. I could filter an entire dashboard by project or some other department or, or dimension. And I can see profitability right there at a moment's notice. Hopefully that helps. Just wanted to give a few examples for the staffing industry of how Sage Intact can revolutionize your business, make things move quicker and easier, and give you more insight than you ever thought possible. Thanks.